In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a Hikvision camera uh, but using an underground uh, PoE wire connection. So uh, first of all I need to figure out where the location is going to be and it's going to be right out there on the top part of your screen there on that fence. The camera is going to be placed there and it's going to be looking at my house and uh, I want the line to be underground and it's going to enter my house right here. I'm eventually going to put in several cameras such as over the, the front door um, facing the front door and then one facing down through my backyard. So uh, I want to set this up so it's going to be expandable in the future. So the, uh, the first step will be for me to see if there's an existing spot where I can uh, connect or pull the wires through. Um, and there the kind of is uh, right here I've opened it up there's one wire through there right now which is just a wire for a, a data wire for an old camera that I had installed however this uh, coax cable here will be going through there um, and there won't be enough room to install three or four other, uh, other cameras so uh, I don't want to tear that one out and put a new one in so I'm all just going to leave that there let it service this cable wire here and then add a new a new box right here so that it can uh, I can use use it for just the cameras and then the plan is to have a pipe on the inside of course attach it to the siding and then have a pipe running down to the ground here and then have the wires uh, running on the ground to uh, the, the appropriate spots that I need them Also, I'm not going to be using conduit the whole way through. I'm going to use a double shielded wire with a gel inside, which is rated for underground. Um, that's the temporary solution right now. If I uh, feel like putting it in conduit later, I will, I will do so. But I just want to get this camera set up so I can watch uh, some construction work that's going on in my house during the, uh, the construction phase. And I'll do a time lapse of the uh, the video once it's uh, once it's set up. All right, so I'm going to get started by uh, installing the uh, this box here. So I'm going to use the drill a bit on my screwdriver. Make sure I got the right one. If it's nice and snug, just got to figure out where I want it on the wall, and then I'm going to drill a hole and uh, give you an update once uh, once that's completed. So I'm in the process here of drilling the hole. And inside of the, uh, the vinyl, of course, you get the, the paper coating in here. Um, once, uh, once the hole is drilled and everything is installed, I'll be putting uh, sealant around it, like you can see here in this previous setup. So it's uh, so it is watertight. I ran into my, uh, my first challenge here, my first problem. The um, wood is very thick and my uh, screw drill bit it goes all the way in and now it doesn't cut anymore because the wood is so thick inside so i'm just going to try to see if it's actually possible to break that and i think it just heard a click yeah i got it there we go so i think that's just a layer off it there so i'm gonna spray foam there so I'm pretty much through. So I'm going to continue drilling. Alright, I'll give you an update shortly. So the hole has been uh, successfully cut. Goes, uh, goes right through there. So the next step is for me to take this box and uh, put a bit of uh, conduit on one side and a longer piece on the other so that it uh, that it stretches down the entire house here and, uh, and goes on the ground. So I'm just going to dig this this up and go maybe uh, eight, eight inches down with it and then I'll, uh, I'll start feeding wires through. 
I'm not going to be putting it tightly in place since uh, there's going to be construction on the house the siding is actually going to be replaced here so I'm just going to leave it loosely installed so that the, the installers uh, can uh, work around it and they can actually pull the wires back out through if they need to or yeah I'll work with them on that Alright so I found the wire inside and managed to push it through okay so I'm just going to uh, feed it down through and then make my way out to the uh, to the gate where the camera will be set up. I'll be setting up above ground first just to do any uh, testing, make sure everything works fine. And then once it's all installed, I'll work on uh, getting it uh, buried up on the ground. Right, the wires are uh, fit through and uh, reaches out to my gate. And I'm ready to start the install of the camera. Um, and eventually I'll probably put it on the post, but since uh, the runners here are going to be repaired because of this uh, crazy hill, hill damage, I'm just going to stick it on one of the runners for now, just probably right here, and uh, direct it so that it's uh, pointing towards the house and uh, I can start filming. So I'm just going to uh, put the, uh, the end pieces on, the uh, terminate the ends, the, the coupler on. Um, you can check out my other videos on, on how to do this correctly, I'm just going to do it right, right really fast here. Um, there's the couplers and uh, I get it terminated and all plugged in and uh, then we should be good to uh, go inside and test. So like I mentioned I just wanted to get the camera set up and test it. So uh, you test the signal goes through so I'm just going to uh, plug the camera in right here. Okay now the camera is plugged in. Just going to run inside and uh, test it out. I'm just going to put it on the ground like that and uh, run inside and uh, make sure it works before I continue with the install. Alright so just a quick look and uh, I can see right here that uh, the video was coming through successfully. If you want to check out how to get the software set up on the computer um, you can check out my other videos for that. Alright I'm just doing the last few uh, touches here on the on the camera set Making sure things are nice and tight. All right, and there's the uh, the setup right now to uh, to film the uh, the construction on my place. Just gonna leave these wires right here on the ground for now. And uh, after all the construction work is done, I think I'll put the uh, put the uh, Camp the wires on the ground in, uh, in conduit. So uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll show you one last peek inside uh, what this looks like, and I'll provide a link to the uh, time lapse of this uh, this video of the, uh, the construction work done on the house. Great. Uh, thanks again. There you go. There's uh, final look on how things appear on the inside here. Uh, it looks great, just what I want it. The whole house is, uh, is covered there and some of the trees so hopefully we'll get to see the, uh, the growth of the trees over the summer as well here. And one last thing, here is a test of the time lapse. And, and one last uh, thing, here's a, a little taste of how it's going to look when I actually get all the video recorded and compiled together and put in fast forward. And uh, compiled together and put in fast forward.